Excellency, President Xi Jinping, esteemed world leaders, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to speak at the second and the second Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation. I congrat congratulate President Xi Jinping and the government of People's Republic of China for organizing this important event. As the Belt and Road transforms from vision into reality, this gathering of partners and friends affords a useful platform for taking stock and setting the agenda. In a world of geopolitical uncertainty, of rising in inequality and barriers to trade, the BRI offers a model of collaboration, partnership, connectivity, and shared prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, BRI marks a new and distinct phase in the onward march of nations of the world along the path of globalization. The presence of so many world leaders today is a proof that we choose hope over despair and cooperation over confrontation. 122 states and 49 international organizations have signed on to the BRI's vision. And this is a historic and a monumental development. Distinguished participants, Pakistan is proud to have partnered and pioneered with China in this transformational endeavor. We have been among BRI's earliest and most enthusiastic proponents. The China-Pakistan Economic Corridor one of BRI's major components and one of its earliest manifestations has made substantial progress. Pakistan's energy supplies have increased massively. Our critical infrastructure gaps are being plugged. Gwadar, once a small fishing village, is transforming rapidly into a commercial hub. The Gwadar Airport will be the largest in our country. Together, Pakistan and China are entering the next phase of CPAC with greater emphasis on socio-economic uplift, poverty alleviation, agriculture cooperation, and industrial development. We are expanding the frontiers of knowledge through closer engagement and deeper cooperation in fields of education, innovation, and technology. Along the length of the corridor, special economic zones are set to come up, offering opportunities for investment for Pakistani, Chinese, and foreign entrepreneurs. Supplementing the next phase of CPAC, we are signing an expanded Pakistan-China free trade agreement. We are changing Pakistan's economic landscape and, inshallah, the destiny of our people. I want to thank China and its leadership for their unwavering support for Pakistan. Our deep-rooted friendship, partnership, and brotherhood with China remain strong, resilient, and unbreakable, standing tall in the face of every challenge. I take this opportunity to invite all of you to avail our liberal foreign investment regime and participate in our economy in particular, infrastructure, railways, dams, IT, and manufacturing. Distinguished participants, as the Belt and Road Initiative takes a further concrete shape, I suggest we direct our efforts and focus on the peoples of our country and towards addressing impediments on their way to sustainable growth. Uh, some of these uh, points have already been touched on by President Xi in his uh, opening speech, but I'd like to make five suggestions. 
to un number one, to undertake joint efforts to mitigate the adverse effects of climate change. Uh, the uh, President of Chile has also elaborated on this. Uh, in our country, in the last five years, we successfully planted five billion trees in, in, in one of our provinces of, called KP. Now we have launched a nationwide project to plant 10 billion trees in the next five years. My suggestion to this forum is that there should be some joint project, an ambitious project of planting trees so that um, we can mitigate the effects of climate change on our coming generations. Secondly, establish a BRI to tourism corridor to promote people-to-people -people contacts, intercultural understanding. Thirdly, and most importantly, establish an office of anti-corruption cooperation to combat the scourge of white-collar crime. And white-collar crime has devastated the developing world. Fourthly, create a poverty alleviation fund that supplements national efforts in the fight against poverty and malnourishment. In Pakistan, we have recently launched a target poverty alleviation program called ISAS. The aim should be to emulate China's spectacular success in lifting 800 million people out of poverty within three decades. And fifthly, make concerted efforts to further liberal, liberalize trade and investment flows, encouraging our private sector and businesses to collaborate in projects. Distinguished participants, China's marvelous civilization has given the world wisdom, harmony, and prosperity. It has gifted to humanity great inventions, arts and aesthetics, and a culture of compassion and coexistence. And uh, again, President Xi's references to the ocean and the rivers, I quote a Chinese proverb, the ocean is vast because it rejects no rivers. Pakistan will continue to work on the basis of mutual respect and equal opportunity with China and other BRI partners for a better future of our people. Pakistan will partner all those who share the vision of a peaceful and prosperous world. We will work, work together to realize a future of hope and happiness. Thank you.